Let's get started with the elements curriculum. The elements curriculum is a standard aligned curriculum that is designed for students who are reading at a second and third grade level. Let's take a look at some of the books. We have the algebra. The basic algebra covers the properties. The algebra B covers the coordinate graphs and the linear equations. We have biology. These are typically our tougher students for our, our older students, our tougher subjects for our older students who are reading at a second and third grade level, but are expected to grasp the information that's um, out in the high schools. Let's take a look at some pages. Each of the books are set up the same way. There's a lot of white space on the page. You'll notice that the font is larger than most textbooks. Why is this? Because a lot of our students have problems with their vision. Perhaps they have visual perception problems, or perhaps they have physical vision problems and need to be wearing glasses, but they aren't. That's the reason for the white space. You'll notice that there's a picture on the student's right-hand side. There's a teaching text. There's also a game or an opportunity for the student to be able to interact with the information that he or she has just learned. The books start off in a win-win situation. In other words, the student can't give an answer that's incorrect. Many of our students who come to us that are reading at a second and third grade level and they're 14, 16, 18, they have years of failure behind them. We need to establish success, and we know success breeds success. You'll notice that the pictures are age appropriate. They're funny pictures, or they're pictures that, are, that our students can relate to. We also work a lot with multi-sensory integration as best as you can using a pencil, paper, and a book. <clears throat> Students have an opportunity to experience that particular standard that's being addressed on that page, maybe through kinesthetically, through their body. Oftentimes they can draw pictures to explain what's going on, and they can also use the blank page on the other side for illustrations. We use comedy as well whenever we can. For example, the word hypotenuse is a tough word, but if the student realizes that it sounds like hypoten hip hippopotamus, then it's a lot easier for them to learn that. Again, throughout the book, we have real life connections. Maybe it has to do with working on a car, like on this one, the different parts to a car. Or maybe it has to do with eating pizza. Wherever there's an opportunity, real life connections are brought in. And also how to use what the student is learning in these books to be able to grow more and have more tools for um, their work as an adult. For example, we know in geometry, there's a, many standards that relate to painting, laying tiles, that kind of thing. That's illustrated here, so the students recognize that that's important. If the student can only do what's in this book, that's wonderful. That student has been successful. Probably for the first time in their life, they've finished a book, a real book of their own, and that success brings a lot of confidence and it breeds more success and more confidence which in turn cuts down on behavior problems. However, if they can do more, there's a lot more. There's more that, um, in the teacher resource manual. Let's take a look at the teacher resource manual and what's available. Well, the teacher will notice right off that one of the first things are sample goals and objectives to help make the teacher's life easier and also for those connections with the standards. There are also pre-test, post-test, unit tests, and these are available at two different levels. The first level is for a student who has 
generally speaking, a regular IQ that perhaps has dyslexia, just has trouble reading, or has a learning disability. The form B is also available for in, in the resource manual, and that's for our students who are cognitively dis disadvantaged. Many people out there think that because a student has intellectual, um, an intellectual handicap that the student is not capable of learning algebra, but that isn't true. And we've proven that with our own studies, that a stu many of our students who are cognitively challenged are able to work through the, um, the elements curriculum. Of course, there are keys to everything. Additionally, we have vocabulary activities Lots of games to uh, work through the vocabulary and give students opportunities to improve their vocabulary. Additionally, there are group there are group activities available, opportunities to look on the internet, to do internet research relating to the different subject matters, and to do uh, kinesthetic activities. Most of the books come also with practice pages that help the students. Many of our states, for example, Arkansas and Missouri, accept the practice pages as portfolio assessment for the alternative to the statewide assessment. Now, let's think about how would we use these books in the classroom? Or how are they used in a school setting? There are many different ways. Teachers are very resourceful and so are students, um, typically. The book would be used in a content mastery or a resource kind of setting. But a lot of the students are now using these as a side-by-side -side in the mainstream setting, especially those students who are able to hear the lesson and are able to respond. Maybe they're taking a government class or an economics class, but they do not have the skills to be able to give the teacher a written response. That's when the elements curriculum is helpful for the uh, teachers and uh, the students and the teachers to be able to differentiate instruction for that student. When students are in much more of a restrictive environment, perhaps because of emotional disturbance or because of cognitive disabilities, the students are able to use these books in a one-to-one -one or small group setting. Another setting that uh, the elements lends itself to very easily is in an alternative setting, especially an alternative setting where a student is only able to come with a pencil. Well, they can work through the whole year worth of work using the pencil and their elements curriculum and some of the other materials that are provided through the resource manual. Another question typically is how does the elements come? How is it packaged? The elements comes with in a complete kit, which is the teacher manual, the CD, and 10 student books. If a teacher needs more than 10 student books, you can get the reorder or a refill kit, which is 10 ad additional student books. Thank you.